Hello and welcome to what I'm hoping to be a Marvel and Star Wars haul. Now it starts a little bit weird because there's a big shipper box to your right, my left. I ordered this at the start of December for a Christmas present to myself and I've not opened it to check if it is the right thing. Everything else that we're going to be having a look at in today's video is all over the last six, eight, maybe ten weeks. Now, today is Christmas Day. I'm actually filming this on Christmas Day afternoon. So if you have got yourself anything from a single minifigure all the way up to a larger set, let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you haven't got anything, because I technically haven't actually got anything today, I've just saved this to open up today. Don't feel bad, because when I start to open all of this up, to cheer you up, more than likely last time I did an unboxing video in this very room, I ended up smacking and smashing the Joker Manor to my left. And we also have some larger sets to my right. So I am starting to shrink in on space. So this is not the best of ideal situations really, but I'm sure it might give you a little bit of Christmas cheer with me smashing some bits and pieces up. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna start off with this. This is the kind of video you're gonna be expecting today. This is item number 75312. This was actually ordered probably back in the summer and I've just remembered it was here somewhere in another box. So this is gonna be added in to the display. Obviously it is from the Boba Fett show and you do get Mando and Boba as well. Um, actually it's from the Mandalorian. I do apologize, so it's from the Mandalorian, it's the Mandalorian artwork. What we will do is we'll go through all the box artwork in much, much greater detail as we go through at the very end, but we have got quite a bit to get through so I don't want to drag this out for too long because I don't want to eat into your Christmas too much but at the same time I'll try and keep it as entertaining as possible. So moving on to what is actually a birthday present from Jay's Toy Collection UK which is this thing just here which is item number 75301. Now it is the X-Wing, it is obviously Luke Skywalker's X-Wing and on the back you can play it in the Skywalker saga so this is available in the game. I think you have something in the instruction booklet to do it. Now everything that we're having a look at there will be a full unboxing video available separately in the actual proper room not in this Lego room. Now talking of Jay, again massive thank you to him. We had to rebrand and the channel last night. So we're now technically BLT. So we are now Brick Life Travels. The detached brick has had to disappear and we are working with new artwork, new logo and everything else, but it is still the same content. Lots of travel stuff, lots of Lego stuff and everything like that. So if you're a little bit confused, Again, this is another reason why I'm putting this video up today, just to make everybody aware that the channel name has changed. And also what I am planning on doing in the 2024 season with these sets. So this is one. So now what we'll do, we'll bounce between, I think, Star Wars and Marvel. Now, we have got some little minifigure packs to go through. Now, I have opened up all of these because I actually opened up all of these on a live. So in this one, just here, we have got... She-Hulk. So She-Hulk is in this one, so she will be built and made up. So that is a nice looking minifigure. In number two, which is this one just here, we have got the Beast. Now, the Beast has actually been traded for Storm. I don't know how I've done this, but I've been given a Storm and not yet been, not actually traded it for this minifigure. And I have seen the individual twice. <laughs> forgotten to take it over. So Jay, if you are watching this, it is safe and sound just here. I'll bring it over next time I come over. Now, the reason why I'm trading that is because in here, is another beast. So I actually had, I got given three of these for my birthday and two of them are the exact same thing. And there is the one that I'm keeping because this one is built, that one is not. But I've got to be honest, these are the first three that I've ever opened and they are horrible to open up compared to one of the little poly bags. There's no easy way of just checking it and you just end up ripping the box open. Then you're worried that if you've already got it, you're gonna end up losing all the pieces, but I've kept them all stacked safe and sound. Now, I, got, I did, actually I'm lying, I did get given one bit of Lego for Christmas. So again, today is Christmas day, which is this one. So I have made her up. She does look very, very effective actually. So I think this is Agatha. I think that's how you say her name. I, I could be complete. I, I, it is, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So that is her. She does look very, very nice. She's got the nice purple and everything. So we'll get those out of the box again at the end of this video. And we we'll just do a little short pan across. So. Four minifigures for Marvel. So that is the, the only four that I've got. And at the moment, I've not yet bought myself one. So I'm not doing too bad. So I've got four for four, no dupes technically because I've traded it over, even though it's not yet been traded. So technically I've still got two beasts. I might sell that one. Now, uh, moving on to back to a Star Wars. This thing just here, this was a bargain. We found this on Amazon. This is item number 75310 and this is the Jewel of Mandalore. So we are going to be doing a really, really nice clone Wars display to my right hand side because 
I have built and finished the UCS gunship. I'm in the process of putting together two or three tables with a full display. So this whole area is turning into a massive theme park. It's all going to be tiled over the 2024 year. So there's not going to be too many more sets coming in 2024, but there is going to be a lot of tiles. But this thing does look very, very effective. And it does come with two really nice minifigures as well. But what I'm going to end up doing for this is this is going to be a photo opportunity. So I'm just going to have generic minifigures sat on the chair, and then we'll just have like a little camera set up at the start. So that is a nice looking thing. Now that has all gone far too smoothly because I have these bigger boxes. Now this is going to be opened up last. I have two boxes underneath me. I've not thought this through. Ugh, I've not thought this through whatsoever. So I have got this thing here. Now I think this was linked with this. They both came on the same time, but I don't understand why this box is so big. Because the giveaways I think aren't that big with it. Now I can't remember what the giveaways were. Let's have a look. So we are now tucking in to all of this for the very, very, very first time. Let's have a look. So you will see it when I see it. What do we have in here? That. Whatever's in there is the stuff that is here. So what do we have? That is one very, very big box for and no, uh, no internal packaging to stop the boxes being dented, not that I care. So, ah, of course. So this, this is obviously not just Marvel and DC, then we have got some giveaway purchases. So this is item number 40603, which is the wintertime carriage. This is a beautiful giveaway. So I'm very, very glad that I got this with this giveaway. And then obviously this as well. But obviously, ooh, as today is Christmas day, do I tuck into these and get these on display later on? Does, is this my evening build or do I have to wait all the way till next year? Hmm, something to something to consider. So may, when you're watching this later on this evening, I might be tucking into these or something else. Right, room, running out of room. Oh, of course, yes, forgot about this. <laughs> so I was told that I need to have an Ant-Man to go with either Daily Bugle or what potentially will be in this box. I really, really hope it is. It's got to be. You can't, they can't, they couldn't have got it wrong. Um, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I have seen it go wrong. So this is item number 76256. Obviously, you can see what it looks like. It is, at the moment, you can get this, I do believe, from Lego, but also Tesco. I think Tesco in the UK also sell it. I guess Tesco is like a much smaller, worse version of Walmart, or the other way around. I don't know, depending on, pretend, pretending, depending on your take on each retail shop. But there we go. So it's nice artwork on the back and again, which is that. And then you've got the nice artwork on the front. But this is from Ant-Man, Wasp, Quantum Leap. Would be quite cool, actually, if we did get the purple suit. Um, that would be a nice looking thing. I think we might have got her in minifigure form, maybe. Maybe not. I can't remember. I don't, I don't know. I have to do a little bit of research on that on a different day. But that is, like I said, that is that. I'm just clever. You can entertain yourselves for a second. Like I said, this is a. This is basically what Christmas is like, isn't it? It's just chaos. I've got the cellar tape stuck to my knee at the moment, so this isn't going to go well. Right, that is that. That is that. That is that. That is underneath. Right, nothing smashed just yet. I do. A Thought the door had just fallen off the gunship then. I was like, oh, not again. Right, next thing, which is this thing just here. Any guesses what this is? What do we think this is? I don't even know if you can see it, so hopefully it's okay. But this is a large box. What do we think? Let's open this one up. But again, like I said, this is all over a long period of time. And if you've only just got yourself a single minifigure for Christmas, it's just all the same stuff that all get clipped together. I still want to know what you've got because like everybody else that watches the channel, I think we all do like a good minifigure. So if you have got any of the CMFs early, I would love to know because you can get them over in the States. I've seen people buy boxes of them already. This happened last year. So all the 2024 stuff is already available in store in America and we can't get it for a little while. I have, what is going on with this? I am making a, this is now turning into idiot versus box. Oh, 
I have a winter fun add-on pack apparently. So that is what that is. I had no idea that was even even a thing. What we got in there? We've got. We'll, we'll go over that. We'll have a look because I know people like that kind of thing. I think you might have, have you seen what was in there? I got another box. Oh, you are kidding. Hang on. So that that opens up that. <laughs> look, so that opens up this. Like that, and I think what they've done. Oh, oh no, I just elbowed something. This is where it's all going to start to go wrong. This is what I didn't want to happen. I just wanted them all to slide out. What is going on with this? Oh no, we are having a nightmare. <laughs> Gabby drinks, what's gonna smash? I can't get this out. Right, well that was deceiving. It's like the weather, it's getting smaller and smaller. So that is a complete one. I, I just kind of understand, well actually I don't understand why they've done it because this says it's ready to ready to ship. So did they, oh no, it's exactly the, it's, a, it's an exact shipper box for the set so they couldn't have fit the poly bag in. That makes sense. But now this doesn't actually have an address on, I can actually spin this round a little bit easier because I forgot the address was on the box and I've got the address on the box on this one. I've not ripped the box, the addresses off. So yeah, I might, there we go. We don't have to worry now, do we? So I won't be getting any hate mail now. Right. This is a gift that keeps on giving. Now, when you watch the <laughs> if you are a fan of the disaster series, which people seem to be, people like watching it and they leave comments. This box was propped up underneath the table like that. And then what it's done is it's fallen over. And it's smashed the three in one space roller coaster. And now if the box wasn't as big as what it was, and the box was just in this box, it would have missed the three in one roller coaster. So to the person that packed this, thank you, I can't get this open. I'm trying to use delay tactics to get it open. Right, here we go. Is it what is it what I hope it is? Right, we are. It's like a massive pizza. Can you see it? Is it there? So it is. There we go. So we are going to be adding in the ghost to the display. So this is going to be added to our bit just down to the side, just by that gunship, which I will be showing you once we get into the very, very last upload. So like I said, we'll then quickly run through where all these bits and pieces are going. Now let's get this, let's get this box out of the box. I can see why they had to do that because it is a perfect snug, perfect snug fit. So actually quite a nice, quite a nice box that one. Not that I actually collect them, but that, that is that. So this first time me actually holding the box in hand, I've never held the box in hand. I've seen it a good few times. Um, there is a bit of an Easter egg on the front for a set that is also available, which is that ship there, which is your twin pack. So I've only just spotted that on the box artwork, but again, there'll be a full unboxing video from this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the comparison of this with the T6. So that'll, that'll be just be in one video. So I do an unboxing video of this and we'll just do a almost like a split screen type thing. So I'm gonna try and change how I do my un, my unboxing videos. But this does look rather smart. It does come with five nice looking minifigures as well. So we will get into the monstrosity, I do believe. So let's have a look and see what is about to happen with this. Now I have completely boxed myself in. Battery wise, we are I think we've got enough. It's just starting to flash at me. So I think we might have to get this out of the box. I'll change the battery over and I can show you the second half of the actual box artwork. Now, this is where it's going to go wrong. Now I've got my Christmas jumper on, obviously. It has been washed, mind. I, I know I've worn it a lot, but I have, I have washed this stuff now. Um, That is you, you're safe. Don't know which way to, I'm gonna have to pull it out anyway, really, it doesn't really. All right, if I do this, I think you're gonna see it before me. So let's have a look and see exactly what is what. Oh no, oh, didn't want that to happen. I didn't know they were in there. 
Right, there we go. That is what that looks like. I'm just now stuck. Oh dear. It's not gone well, it's not gone well. So this room is not supposed to be for this, but the other one has a massive puddle in. Still, it's still drying out, which is not ideal. So this is this thing. This is massive. First time I've actually held the box. Ooh. 5,201 pieces, item number 76269, it is an 18 plus. Now, with this one, I think it's gonna have its own individual unboxing video, and then we'll do a direct comparison with the Daily Bugle as well. Or I might just do a direct comparison with Daily Bugle because this has been done so many times as a unboxing video. But this box, look at the width of it, is absolutely massive. So what I'm gonna do now, that is it. That is all done with regards to that sort of haul. And I'm afraid nothing is small. Oh. He says as I've just hit the bank. If you don't wanna do that. Um, what we'll do now is I need to change the battery. So very, very professional. And then we will go over where everything is gonna go. New batteries in, we'll go over all the box artwork very, very quickly. So you can see you've got the Avengers Tower logo in the top right. There's nothing in the top left on this one, but as we come all the way down to the bottom, you've got the Lego in the bottom left and the Marvel in the bottom right. 18 plus, 76269, 5,201 pieces. Now, obviously, you've just seen it yourself. This box is very, very large. Now, having a proper look with it for you for the first ever time, top Lego Marvel, completely blank on the one side. But on this side, it's not blank. You have the big tower so i'm not too sure why you got one on one side what on another i'm guessing this is not the side you open because you open it from the top so that means there will be there they are the minifigures are trying to do all this with one hand at the top just here so this box for depth this table is a meter by half i think it's a half a half meter depth so it's a it's a big thing so you can see all these minifigures are included at the top so we will go through them all i'll read them off the box as we go stark mark seven mark six the battle damaged on that one though which i do like you got cap other cap uh that's famous scenes that you can recreate if you really want to thor black widow the wasp and then you've got ant-man now the obviously the wasp that i've just picked up the ant-man that i've just picked up or giant man shall i, shall I say i'm not too sure if that was that's the different color because i said about purple and i think this is the blue and then you've got Mr. Kevin himself on this one. That is what I really like in this build, out of all of them, to be honest. I like Dumb E. And then you've got the Big Hulk, and then you've got Dr. Cho. I think that's how you say her name. And you've got Nick, Fury, Wong, Pepper Pot, War Machine, Vision, Falcon, Wanda, Hawkeye. Half these minifigures have nothing to do with this tower whatsoever, but that minifigure I know is going to make one or two people very, very excited. And it's cost somebody a lot of money already. You've got Mr. Eric, and then it does say on the box, you've got Tony Stark, Shield Agent, Shield Agent, Shield Agent. Now, I thought these three were um, the bad, not the good, but I guess they are the good because I thought they were part of Hydra. But clearly not. They must have a different symbol on there. So maybe you couldn't recreate. And then you've got a battle, an army builder of four of the same minifigure. And then you've got Alexander. And then you've got Loki. And then you've got the nice Ultron as well just on there. So it does look very, very good. So that is one very big spot. Very big box down. So moving on to this one. The Lego in the top left like it normally is. So it's Lego Star Wars 10 plus. It's 75357. And it is the Ghost and the Phantom Two, do like the box artwork on this. It's, it's obviously from the Ahsoka TV show on Disney+. Plus. Very, very good TV series. Then you've got all of these characters underneath. Now, all of them play a good role within this uh, TV show. I was about to say film. Uh, but that is the egg that I didn't realise was on the box. So that makes things very, very interesting. Is that going to be more important than what it needs to be or not? Up on the side, if you're looking at it for the shelf, that is what it looks like with the nice little ghost symbol on the one side. And then on the other, you have got a bit of writing and then it's completely blank. And then at the top, you've got a one-to-one -one scale minifigure on there. Now on the back, you can see you've got different bits and pieces that it will do. So it is coming out of a ship. What ship it's coming out of, I could not tell you. And potentially it's going to be the Ventnor, maybe? Could be talking absolutely nonsense. It's definitely not that thing, which is what it's going to be paired up with. Like I said, that's where it's going to be going. 
yes that thing is beautiful and huge but this does look very very nice now it does look like you've got some interior design on this as well so you can see the bits and pieces on this box and then you've got one two three four bits that disconnect on that one but again full unboxing video for all of these with much much greater detail on the inside and out moving on to the next thing which is this one just here just quickly go over the minifigures that it's included with you get luke princess leia you get the general and r2d2 included and then this is item number again 7530 one and then there's nothing on the top of the box a bit of artwork on the one side and then the artwork on the back does look very very impressive so you can see play with the star wars on the side there so it says skywalker saga r2d2 fits in at the back and obviously the wings do open up and close so it's a nice mechanism on that and the minifigures do have rather nice prints on now this is a set that i've owned once before and then sold and now i have it again and i am very very grateful that did not sound good. One of these engines. I told you this video would cheer you up. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, there's Pumpkin. Hello, Pumpkin. I didn't know you were up here, darling. So this is there. That... I think just slots. I'm trying to do this the wrong way around. There we go. That just slots in like so. Live repair. Now, everything that's on the back of this table, ignore... Look at the back there. That is actually how it is all supposed to look like. We've done that in the last disaster update where everything is together. We're going to put a nice connecting path through. This is in the process of getting repaired and built. And then we've made space for the Ninjago. Everything else is an absolute dump and a dive. But we are getting through it. Now, minifigures next. So we'll go through these minifigures very, very quickly. So you can see the detail on the front. You've got all the hair and everything on the thighs, the chest. The abs look good. You've even got the chest and sort of ab hair all dotted around. Then you've got the teeth and you've got the glasses. On the side there, look, you can see you've got the black over the ear and underneath the actual big blue bit of the hair. It's a big hair piece on this one. You can see you've got the big central part in on that bit. And then as it spins around, you've got even more detail on the side with the bright yellow. No print on the back of the legs, but then you have got the cup. And it, and it does have the logo on the cup as well. Now, it does come with a couple of other smaller bits and pieces, which I'm not going to get out. I will do at some point a proper thing of this. Like I said, this is just the unboxing. Right, Storm, she does look rather, rather nice. You can see you've got her nice blast effect with the bright yellow. You can see the really nice yellow and the matching symbol on her chest to the Beast's belt buckle. So we get the Beast out of the way, so this stays focused on this. Now, the back the cape on the back let's get that out of the way you've got all of the nice bits and pieces with regards to the detail on them you can see the nice cloth cape as well no print again on the back of the legs but you have got the sort of almost the y front print on the front and then you've got the boot marking over the top of the thigh but what i do like about this one is obviously the eyes on this do look very very impressive now i'm not too sure if this one has a secondary face i don't think it will do with that kind of hair piece no it won't does the beast have a secondary face that's gone forever uh yes he does so there it is so that is what he looks like so we have got an angry looking beast and then we've got a not so angry looking beast which is always which is always nice we'll have the we'll have the not so angry i think now she hulk she comes with lots of different bits and pieces so you can see what she is holding which looks nice and clear i think the colors on this look really really nice the sort of silver works really well with the purple and the green is nice and vibrant as well so you've got the green skin tone and you've got the darker green hair and hopefully you can see it a little bit better on the side just how nice the white to the black to the purple goes and then you've got the really really nice lime green now on the back you can see you've got all the different printing up there and in this one it does have the two-tone print on the legs and that goes all the way to the sides so you can see on this one it has everything on the sort of the thigh and the hip all the way down to the trainers you can see even what it looks like with the boot marks underneath that bit and then you have that just underneath there now if again i'm trying to do all this with one hand it's never the easiest can i get hair off yes and she does have a secondary bit as well so you've got the smug look which lots of the minifigures come with they tend to come that as a, as a generic secondary face or you've got the happy smiley face which is another one that i do like the look of now the one that i got given as a christmas present today this young lady just here she's got nice effects and she's got lots and lots of nice purple all over her front so you can see just how nice it is with the purple with the silver and then you've got the nice sort of necklace and chain you've got all the detail on the face the good hair piece as well so there's long long hair and then you've got this nice big skirt on the back and again if i can you have that one which is a winking face which is an unusual one what she's winking for i think would have been from the tv series from one division because she always is a weird wink i think she does that from time to time rather than her new show that has been delayed forever or if it's even coming out so i'm assuming that's what it is for but 
all of those together so all four of them i think do look very very smart i think she hulk will yeah she hulk will stand up and if i can can i be clever can i put her hair back on yes i can so that is those four and that is the minifigure segment done Next on the list is this thing just here. So 75310 is a quick recap. Minifigures are things that you're interested in. Just comes with those two. Now, detail on the back. Again, you've got the couple of bits and pieces. You've got one, two, three different frames. And then you can, if you want to, have that in there. Now, if I can have... Oh, you can. Oh, fantastic. So I was about to say, if I can shut it and just have his face on show, that's potentially what I would do for the photo op if I can spin it around the right way, because it is a secondary secondary bit. So if that, if I can if I can do it in a way of where there's somebody in there or that could just be off to the side, because again, like I said, all of this is in mind for a theme park giveaway, which I'm sure everybody's built and done now. I do like the looks of this, so oh, I'm tempted for this evening. 40603, as you can see, it says limited edition, does look very, very nice. It does make a, a nice addition to the collection for sure. And I'm look, very, very much looking forward to opening the box on this and taking a much better look at it. And then you've got, obviously, they've got the horse and cart. Wintertime carriage ride, item number 40603, if you need to find one of these on the secondary market. Now, we have a pair, well, I'd say a crotch, but we actually have a pair of kneecaps. So, thigh, up to the top, we have the LEGO Marvel 8 Plus 76256 Ant-Man construction figure. And again, that's the one that's talking about with the purple, because I was hoping that that was the Avengers Tower, but I couldn't remember if the purple one came with that, and I don't think it did. So I don't think it is the same one. And also with the Avengers Tower, you get a different coloured variant of that as well. So at least this way around, you get two tiny, tiny micro figures as well, which is nice. And I think it will work well with the Avengers Tower and the Daily Bugle. Again, artwork on the back, nice and simple. And it has got a nice little bit for that to rest on on the arm, which is probably where I will keep that one, I do be a leave. Now, are we missing anything? I think this is the last one. So this is the other giveaway purchase, which again, item number 40604. If you want to backtrack this one, this, they're all over the place on the secondary market just because this was at such a reasonable price point for this in all fairness both of these are at a very reasonable price point it's probably one of the cheapest giveaways in a good while for the actual winter village sets i think again both of them side by side do look nice but they are modular so you can mix and match the colors up so you've got the red with the green so you can do whatever you want and yes they will hang on your christmas tree but I think that is it. I am done. So let me know in the comment section below if you've got yourself any minifigures or any theme of construction set whatsoever. Because I know there's a lot of Mega Construct fans as well. So if you've got yourself the Snake Mountain or the He-Man Castle, let me know. Because that He-Man Castle to build is a good bit of fun. And the instruction booklets are very, very different to Lego. But again, anything or everything that you picked up in that comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But guys, again, from me to you, have a lovely rest of your Christmas and enjoy Boxing Day tomorrow. But if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care. I'll take you to the next one. ta -da.